And you might say, hang on, I don't have any problem with the science. We're, the majority of people in the US are fine with climate is changing. Over 80% of people in the US are fine with climate is changing. About 65% of people in the US are fine with it's us. Really. But this is where the rubber hits the road. Here's the stats. These are a fun set of maps from the Yale Climate Opinion Maps. You can Google them yourself. They have results by congressional district and by county. They also have results for Canada by province and by riding. And when you ask people, do you think climate is changing? Is global warming happening? Anything orange is greater than 50%, and the darker the color, the more people say yes. Look at that. Every single congressional district in the whole country says yeah. Climate is changing. And then do you say, do you think it's going to harm plants and animals? Everybody says yes. They do think it's going to harm plants and animals. Then you say, do you think it's going to affect you? And when you ask that question, you get the most <laughs> negative answers to any question that they ask. This is the most dangerous myth that the most of us have bought into. And you may say, what are those orange counties down there in uh, New Mexico, uh, California, and Southern Texas? Those orange counties are Hispanic Catholics who are the most concerned people group in the entire country about climate change. Hispanic Catholics. You might say, aha, the Pope. It's true, but they're balanced by the fact that the least concerned people group in the whole United States, the least concerned people group in the whole United States about a changing climate are white Catholics. Yeah, they beat out white evangelicals by hair. So, that kind of gets into the issue of it isn't what the Pope says, unfortunately. Why have we bought into this myth? Why is almost the entire country, including Oregon and even this county, why is, this, is almost the entire country dark blue? It's because if you are designing a poster for a new movie about global warming, or if you are designing the cover to a new book about climate change, there is one image that almost everybody would put on that movie poster or on the cover of the book. One image. It's an image of something that is big, it is white, and it is furry. It is a polar bear. Now, I'm going to be asking you to be totally 